Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate all the witnesses being here. Um, nobody could see the uh, video of George Floyd um, being killed and not be very moved. No question about that. And I greatly appreciate the Floyd family um, urging peaceful protests and not uh, violence. That's not what they wanted for Georgia's legacy. Um, so there, there are important issues that need to be addressed here. Um, Mr. McDonald, thank you for your service in the Navy to our country. Um, and uh, um, I see from your statement, uh, the ship you were stationed on, how long were you in the Navy? Uh, nine months. Nine months. Um, did, did you run into prejudice in the Navy, racial prejudice? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. Um, in your statement, you had mentioned that uh, the police stopped pushing forward at the urging of protesters when a man had fallen there and was was being given aid and that they began using less lethal force. Uh, what was the difference in force before and after the individual fell? Are we you talking about the black man that fell in my statement? Yes. Yeah, he fell and we asked the police to stop. At that moment, they established a perimeter, right. enough, maybe enough for like 10 seconds for us to get him up and move him. But the minute we got him up and moved him, they started running at us. They didn't stop to help us. But what force were they using at that time? Uh, their, their batons and their shields. Baton and shield? Yes. Okay. And um, Ms. Bryce, obviously, that was had to have been uh, rather traumatic. Um, uh, obviously, you and your cameraman came prepared with the goggles. Uh, with your experience, you've been in uh, a lot of protests, apparently around the world. I appreciate your coverage. Um, and having looked back just through June 8th, uh, apparently, just through June 8th, there have been seven pe 17 people died in incidents stemming from the uh, unrest from George Floyd's death, including David Dorn, David um, McAtee, Chris Beatty, Dorian Morrell, Natalia Kelly, and of course, I don't know anybody could not be moved seeing her sister saying, you know, she wasn't shot by the police. It was one of you, it was one of the protesters. When protests get out of hand, people get hurt. You're far more experienced in these type of protests, is there a point at which you can tell this is about to turn violent at protests? You, you can never be certain, obviously. You can uh, certainly feel, I guess, uh, tension rising uh, in protests. Uh, in saying that, I certainly have never had any reason to expect violence from the police as working press. Um, but when uh, things get crazy at a protest, you can't be sure, like seeing those bricks being thrown at police recently, if you're a civilian in the way, just like Italia Kelly, you may be hit by a protesters' brick. Uh, it's got to be hard to tell. I saw nothing on June 1st that made me feel in any way alarmed before that line of police surged forward. Yeah. Uh, were you out at the protest the night that uh, St. John's had a fire started? Yes, the night of May 31. Did you see how anybody got into the church to start the fires? No, I didn't. Uh -huh. um, could you understand why uh, law enforcement might be concerned about others getting into the church, either legally or illegally, cause more damage? I obviously can't speak to the, uh, the motivation of the police, but as your colleague, Mr. McClintock, pointed out, there is the importance of distinction. I have said in my statement that the night before I did see much more widespread chaos, but on the day of June the 1st, in question at the moment, I did not see anything that warranted the movement of police that we witnessed. And, um, and thank you. And Bishop Moody, um, 
I appreciate your effort at social justice. What do you think is the hope for those in Washington, D.C. that are protesting? I can't speak for all protesters, but I think the, uh, the, the moniker Black Lives Matter is the, the way we are expressing a collective cry that we have uh, equity in our policing that black and brown persons can, can expect the same level of treatment and safety when they are encountering police, and that we have a reckoning in this country for all manner of policies and practices that would cause black and brown people in this country to fear for their lives when encountering the very people who are meant to keep them safe. Hey, thank you, Bishop, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, there was African-American minister that said our hope is in Jesus Christ. I yield back.